are flying down the road. It is hot. If you watched Hard City's um, video today about his Ducati, I'm super, super jealous. Super jealous. I wanted to talk to you guys about what I've done with my modifications to my bike. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. If you look at my hands on the bike. Ooh, something got pulled over. Hey. Don't be speeding. Oh, man. Hmm. Anyway, um, cool hand guards. They're adjustable. Levers by Pooj. Pooj with some bar ends. So that's pretty cool. And I am wearing my hot weather gear, which is uh, the Dainese elbow pads. I'm wearing my Dainese boots. Um, I am wearing my Dainese pants with my knee pads. I'm wearing my Dainese airbag vest. And that's what I have on today, plus my helmet, of course. My right helmet. How could you go wrong, honestly? What a beautiful day, though. So here we go. It's a green light, baby. So I just wanted to talk to you guys. I am so jealous about Hard Cities. Awesome. Zuccotti. Panigale. V2. That is incredible. I am so excited. Okay, so... We're going to be going about 50 miles an hour. Ooh, that is like hot winds. So freaking cool. So freaking cool. I'm still trying to take it easy because it is just still getting broken into. So, yep. If you guys are practicing talking and writing at the same time because you haven't done this before, please be careful. Please be careful. It is really difficult. Um, you really have to focus and you really have to like, I don't know, make sure that you're paying attention to the traffic and not what you're saying. I'm not so sure sometimes, I understand. Sometimes. I think Siri's talking to me, man. Is Siri on? That's terrible. Man, I wish Siri could be like, I always wanted Miss, uh, Mr. T as my Siri, like voice. Or James Earl Jones, or maybe Jimmy, no, not Jimmy Fallon, um, but like somebody with a good voice. So I think this lady's trying to tell me that my camera's not on. No, I don't know what the heck she's saying on this. Senna, Cena, Senna 50C. This is my everything right now, my communication. I'm tooling down the road to the end of this road to the end of the road it's a natural I used to have a forerunner it was really cool I don't know where I got all this in me my dad was into cars my dad was actually really into cars I was not really into cars as much as I was into bikes I don't know how that came about because my family's not into bikes. Well, I shouldn't say that. I guess I had an uncle that was into bikes, but I never knew him. So, living the dream. <laughs> I'm in like sixth gear and I'm going like 55 miles an hour. I'm sure you guys understand. Mm -hmm. And there are like so many cars. And sorry about the wind, but it's hot. So, if I'm sounding. <laughs> crappy. I guess that's how it's going to go. Let's do some quick shifting on my quick, quickless shifter. <laughs> I do not have a quick shifter. But if I did, oh man, that would be fun. I would love it. <laughs> so always watch your mirrors, right? Yep. Let's turn those a little bit. Okay. So anyway, um, Happy Saturday, 
and sorry I'm a little discombobulated. I've had puppies that have just gotten neutered. Sorry to all the guys, but um, they had to get neutered. Um, they're a specific type of dog, and they supposedly can get really bad um, issues later. Oh, now we're in sixth gear. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm only doing like, what, 52? That's pretty simple. And I am loving this Pro Shade system by Arai. This thing is so awesome. That's just the way. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> I missed my shifter. I'm trying to get used to this shifter along with these um, extra mods on my bike, which I will show you when I get home later. Oh, we're supposed to watch our speed. So let's watch it. Let's watch it go real fast. I'm kidding, you guys. This is terrible. Okay. We're getting off of this, like, construction road. It's, like, not okay. <laughs> I hope everyone's out riding today. <laughs> um, it is hot, but I'll tell you what. My setup here with my awesome Dionysi elbow and shin guards, it's pretty cool. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to lie. But the bottom half of me is completely covered. And, of course, the top half of me is covered. Um, I just mean, like, it's... Here we go. We're going to take a turn at uh, 24 miles an hour. Hopefully there's no gravel. <laughs> Hopefully not. Okay. That was pretty good. I almost washed out my front end earlier. Um, was it yesterday? Oh, hold on. Let me close that. It's still windy. Sorry. It's just the way it goes. That's life, baby, baby, life. I'm probably screaming in this thing. It's probably all muffled. I did try out my headlights the other night, by the way, and it just, it didn't look, it didn't look great. I'm not going to lie. Um, the, the brights, they're bright when you have, like, city lights, but they're not bright when you, like, no, they're not bright at all. You guys, I don't know what I was thinking. Look at this pretty, pretty scenery as we're, no cars behind us. Hey, it's a free day. <laughs> um, so I'm yeah, this sure is my first time. What did she just say? I don't know what she just said. Oh, I bet my phone got hot. No, I guess. I don't know if it's recording, but I hope it is. Because the other night I didn't record at all, and it was really sad. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, you know, are the brights going to be better than using the, the low beams? No, I mean, it's going to give you more light out front, but to the sides, like your peripheral, like what's going to be running across the street like a deer or a dog? No, you're not going to get that. So, unfortunately, I would say get some auxiliary lights. That's where I'm from, <laughs> Northwest Indiana. So I am not used to the hills. I am seriously taking it easy through these little bumpy roads and twisty roads. And it's beautiful out here, though. It really is. Mm -hmm. Well, here we go. Ooh, let's get on it a little bit, shall we? Feels good. The air going down my neck, and it's great. <laughs> I'm like standing up on my foot pegs, like I'm riding a horse. Well, it's pretty much this kind of country. Oh look, you can get your bees removed. Live, live bee removal. That's pretty neat. Okay, so here we go. This person in front of me loves dogs, so I pretty much love this person in front of me. Let's shift it up. Let's work ahead. Hey guys. <laughs> I always wave. I don't just go like, you know, to the two fingers down, two fingers down. I mean, this is cool. It's a sign. I get it. It's a motorcycle thing, but I'd rather wave like a ridiculous person so they can see me, you know? I'd rather be seen than not be seen. Yeah. I'm trying to get used to these new Dionysi uh, Twerk Out 3 boots. Um... It's weird. It's like you can feel your foot, but it's like different.
over on my right hand side. Um, they look like little pimples from far away. <laughs> I call them acne, acne bumps. It's like, I like going on the highway, but this is California. Um, my Ninja 400 can definitely keep up with traffic, but as you know, it's very light. This is a very light bike, so, and it's very windy. I'm sure you, I hope you guys don't hear that too, too badly on this, um, you know. Are you kidding? How can the road end? The road never ends. Okay. I didn't get that. Could you try again? Could you try again? Boop, boop, boop. But it looks like I'm going fast, right? <laughs> Open the traffic. It's like a, an illusion. This is so pretty. I don't know where I am, but I really like it. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. So, we are watching behind us, around us, all the things. I'm doing 53. It's not bad. There is a car behind me. There's some dirt. Get around that. It doesn't matter how fast you're going. It just matters if you're comfortable. Yeah, the first thing I did when I was younger is my guy friends were all going really, really fast on their motorcycles. And I was like, okay, I'm going to go fast. Well, that didn't work out so well for me. It just didn't. Anyway, it's time for some gas. So which kind of um, gas? I'm going to get 91. Yeah. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. I am so hot. I, I'm not going to talk because I literally, literally, if I keep talking, I'm going to pass out. <laughs> or at least I feel like I am. So this was really fun today, you guys. I'm glad you could go for a ride with me and see some of the mountains here. It's so pretty. I really enjoyed today, that is for sure, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your Saturday, and I will talk to you guys soon, all right, adios. I promised you guys I would have everything done by the 20th, I think today is the 21st, yeah, um, but I do have some surprises, okay, first of all, Hard City would be really happy about this. These <laughs> are no longer on my bike. Do you think I got rear sets or do you think it's something else? Hmm. Or maybe nothing. Maybe nothing. So we're going to check it out. Bum, ba, da, bum. <laughs> We've got some awesome huge lever guards. These are awesome, you guys. I'm so excited. I'm really happy. These are adjustable. Because of my mirrors, I couldn't use, like when you pull the mirror out, be really weary, of, weary, not weary. Be very conscious of your lover guards because the mirrors, my mirrors are short mirrors. Remember I switched them out. Oh, it looks like I got some bug or something. Anyway, um, these are awesome. I'm so excited. So very, very, very excited. And, bum, ba, da, bum. Hey, what do you think? Got some sliders here and here, some little pucks. You can take those off when they, if they, if they get messed up. But this is um, awesome. I'm so excited. I had the dealer put those on um, Friday. Yeah. So <laughs> these are made by Impact Tech, which is out of Riverside, California. <clears throat> and they had a pair of black powder coated in stock. It normally takes about eight to 10 weeks if you choose a different color. I was going to go with like a lime green for this, but I decided to keep it very kind of hidden. So, um, yeah. And then this is my sub cage. So no more passenger peg. I want to say it super durable. Yeah. 
And this is a really hard rubber <clears throat> or plastic, I should say. Um, I am, I am just so excited. This is really cool. So you'll see the Impact Tech logo, which might be backwards on here. Um, it's very nice, very nice and clean. So the thing is about this with your stock muffler or exhaust is that this will sit right on the heat shield. Not even up, a, not even up an inch or not an inch, geez, not even a millimeter above this. <laughs> It'll just sit on it. But how cool. So instead of having rear sets that cost a ton, um, I did get the left and right crash bars along with the lever guards. But I think I got them from Cycle Gear. Yeah, I'm so happy that I have these. When I wear my Dionysi boots, you know, my awesome boots that I showed you guys in another video, my black ones, my Torque Out 3. Um, the shin of the boot will hit right here. So you almost have to turn your foot to get it under the shifter to you know, interfering with my boot. Have that super thick, hard plastic in the front right against the shin and this doesn't really like yeah it's the angle so something to think about so anyway I am so excited they of course had a whole saw to drill you have to cut into the fairing so there's that and it fits really nicely and this is a really quality part. The front, here's the front. So you can see those sticking out just here and here. I think it looks so good. Then replace these if they should get damaged, which is super. And they tell you to, um, Impact Tech, if you watch their videos after this, after seeing this, hopefully, um, they will tell you to replace them if you do go down. There's a difference. They are just absolutely perfect. Thank you so much to my local dealer. They did a great, great job. And yeah, let me know what you guys think about it. If I drop, if and when, probably, <laughs> I drop my bike, um, then I will have this and I won't have to, it'll help to pick it up. One, it won't be all the way down on the ground as it would with the fairing and secondly um it just improves my overall confidence i guess you could say in uh knowing that um i'm not going to smash my leg i've got sliders uh, two on each side i've got these the sub cage which is so good okay so if you enjoyed this video and enjoy these mods that I've made or have any questions about the Impact Tech uh, left and right crash cage or bars and the sub cage that's made by Impact Tech. Um, you can ask me. I may not know the answers, but you can go to Impact Tech uh, to their website. Again, I'll link it below. And check them out because I had no idea that they made... Um, these pretty inexpensive. They're not $200. I mean, they're, they're more than that. You can check it out. But I did get the black powder coated so they weren't as expensive because they're not painted. I can get them painted later if I want, but I thought, no, this is good. And then the Pooge adjustable levers, lever guards, I should say, sorry. I love that. I could get smaller, you know, shorter levers, yes. But at this time, I'm not doing that. Maybe I should, um, but you know, and I hope you guys are having a great, great weekend. Take care and ride safe and happy week to everyone.